What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. Even fancy women look sour. They'll beat us, enslave us, and punish us if we try to stand up to them. Guess I never saw it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? I have no idea. Guess it ain't no use talking about stuff will never happen. What do you think about women's rights, Arthur? I guess I uh, never really thought about it. Voting ain't really my thing. Well, exactly. Ladies? Still not quite sure why you're dressed as a lawman. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi there, Arthur. Arthur. Hi, Charles. get the man to help with the laundry. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson. You awake yet? Uh, 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 what the hell? I've forgotten what it was now. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. Hi, Arthur. Keep your eyes open for any trouble. Of course.
What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it.
Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> though it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. <laughs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now.
Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't laugh at him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? You boys like a couple of bucks. I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says, give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Vince. A gift. Providence is shining on. 
serve these men, you murderous moron. Come on, Fenton, they're getting thirsty. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. How rich are you? Serve the drinks, Fenton. You're not having another episode, are you? Keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh, Moin Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, 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 no. So bastards. It's more they don't want another gang right. on their patch. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I 
keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Why well, the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Mrs. Adler. Good evening, Arthur. Lenny! Arthur! Hey, you want to sit down, Arthur? Evening, Arthur. Hey, Jack. Evening. Good evening, Arthur. Yourself. Good evening, Arthur. Hmm. You know, how are you doing? There are winners and losers in this world. And that's a fact. And what confuses me about you, old man, is is your loser who somehow ain't got lost yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it when you enlighten us with these philosophy lessons. You know, I don't know how we managed before you joined us. A Dutch is a great man and far better than any of us, but you waste too much time and energy on weaklings like you. Me and Dutch go back a long way. And he feels bad for you. That's why you're still here. <sighs> what? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that things ain't got no use, should be put out of their misery. You just tried, huh? 
was only joking, old man. Don't go and wet your bed again. Ooh. Micah, look who it is. Dutch. Hello, Arthur. Another day and we're still alive. Of course we are. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Hey there. Morning. Fire here, Mr. Morgan. Morning. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose.
is good and hot, Mr. Morgan. Morning, Uncle Arthur. All right. Look, everything's going to be all right. I know.
There he is. Morning, mister. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. It's about Dutch. It is. Mr. Bell? Would you excuse us? See, I love him, and I know he loves me, but... You're a sweet girl. But you don't strike me as an idiot. I... Dutch don't love you. Not in the way you want to be loved. Oh! Just don't make a fool of yourself. No, it's not like that. Arthur, please, you don't care about this nonsense. Away with you. I ain't one to sugarcoat things, my dear. It is like that. Take care of yourself. You don't understand. Unfortunately, I do. Well... Well, well, you don't. Okay. You told her. No, stop nosing around. She's losing it, that girl. Dutch, if you don't clean yourself up soon, the law will smell you coming. Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Okay, good. All right, then.
How are you, Mr. Morgan? Hello, Mr. Strauss. You know, this ain't such a bad spot we got here, all things considered. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. We sure lived in worse. Take care, Arthur. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Arthur. Kieran, Kieran. Hey. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? Well, good talking to you. Easy, boy. <laughs> you're a good boy. Yeah, you're really done, boy. Let's get you looking nice. Here you are, boy. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> Are you gonna serve that pig swill, Pearson? Hey there. Hi, Arthur. Hey there. Room here by the fire, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Hello. Swanson. How's it going? Don't ask. I know that feeling. Hello, Arthur. Swanson? <laughs> 